That's too big. Too big. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> it's a giant pumpkin. Ooh, happy Halloween! That's so good. <laughs> I want lots of whipped cream. Hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog. This vlog is going to be fall and Halloween specific. Even though there's a pandemic, we still wanted to celebrate this season because it's just once in a year. Now last year, we celebrated a little bit different because there was a lot of events for Halloween and fall. But obviously we can't do that this year, so we gave it a bit of a different spin. First thing we did over the week was we visited a local drive-in theater and it's called Twilight Drive-In Theater. We're good to go? Thank you. We're in. Hopefully no one's here yet and we get a good spot. We came prepared. Waiting for a double cheeseburger combo. Okay, so now that we have our food and we have our drinks, I think we're ready for the movie. So for you guys that are unfamiliar with what a drive-in is, it's this place where cars park in front of a big screen to watch a movie. Hence called the drive-in. One good thing about this drive-in is they have a concession stand. So you can just grab food and enjoy the movie. It won't be fall here in North America without trying a pumpkin spice latte. But instead of buying one from a coffee shop, which is expensive and probably unhealthy, we are going to attempt on making our own. We don't have exactly all the ingredients right now, so I'm going to ask Nat to go to a grocery and grab some stuff. Alright guys, I think you're gonna help me on this one because we've never tried making our own pumpkin spice before. And I don't exactly know what Max wants me to buy. I found the spices area, but do I go with regular or do I go with organic? And also, what's the difference between cinnamon and cinnamon sugar? Hello? Do you want cinnamon or cinnamon sugar? We need ground cinnamon. And also, do you want organic or regular? If there's an organic option, take the organic one. Okay. First thing we're going to do is put one cup of almond milk. <laughs> this is this is straight from the store. We haven't opened this yet. <laughs> Sealed. Okay, there you go. Taste? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> and we got this pumpkin puree from the store as well. Make sure if you're making pumpkin spice latte, is to use pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling, because you can interchange the two quite easily.
and we put two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. That's one tablespoon, right? That's overflowing! <laughs> How about this? Okay, that's good. And instead of sugar, we're gonna be using maple syrup, so it's a little bit healthier. Two teaspoons of that. Next, we're going to use pumpkin pie spice. Half a teaspoon. Just need to open it. Mmm, it smells so good! And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I can already smell it. it smells so good, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start the heat and whisk it. As soon as you guys start seeing bubbles, I think that's the sign it's ready. We also need half cup of espresso coffee. And now we add the coffee. I can already smell it. it smells so good. Then we top it off with whipped cream. <laughs> I want lots of whipped cream. Wait, it's not it's not done yet. Because you need to add some cinnamon powder on top as the final topping. Cheers! Cheers! Mmm, it's very full. I didn't find it sweet enough. If you're like me, you can definitely add a teaspoon of sugar or more. One other thing that we tried over the week for fall was we visited a pumpkin patch. That's too big! So big! This one is called Richmond Country Farms and it's pretty close here in Vancouver. It's about 10 minute drive, right? Mm -hmm. We're here! We got our tickets and two bags for our pumpkin. So the admission price is about $15 per person and it comes with a pumpkin bag which you can fill up with your pumpkin that you are going to be picking in the field. There's a lot of sunflowers in this field, but as you have noticed, they're not in their best shape right now. Because their season is over. Usually, sunflowers bloom around August. It was actually a little muddy when we went because it rained the day before. But good thing, we were wearing boots. But it was still a great experience. There's a lot of pumpkin patches, animals, and photo ops. And someone had an accident. What happened? You just... Let me see. Ta-da! Oh no! My, my pants got caught up in the tractor. <laughs> As you guys may have noticed, we got two pumpkins from the patch. We were planning to do some carving, but we never got around to it. What do you think? Maybe we should just show them the pumpkins that we got? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here you go! Ah! Here's our uncarved pumpkins. With soil. <laughs> With soil. We haven't even cleaned it. And yeah, this is straight from the pumpkin patch. So dirty. I think some farms are accepting like donation of pumpkins. Like whenever Halloween is done, we could probably just donate this mm -hmm. for animals, right? Yeah. Hey guys, it's already nighttime, and one more thing that we wanted to do this year. Since there's a pandemic, trick or treating will be different this year. So our plan is to go around Vancouver tonight and maybe spot some of the houses that has Halloween decorations. I think that's the only way we can social distance while still celebrating Halloween, right? And one more thing, we're not going to disclose the location of these houses for the security of the owners. It's a pumpkin! <laughs> it's a giant pumpkin! One thing we 
did notice here in Vancouver is they're very festive with their Halloween. We've seen fireworks, we've seen people in costumes, there's parties. It almost seems like a New Year's Eve celebration, right? At one point, we were kind of confused because there was one street that has a lot of fog. But it's a beautiful night. Where did the fog come from? It turned out that it's coming from the fireworks. <laughs> he's, he's swaying his head. Wow, look at that. There's a cold. That was such a great Halloween experience, right? Yeah, we saw a lot of houses that even though there's a pandemic, they still managed to put up decorations for the kids. And if you guys didn't notice, some people are actually getting creative with this pandemic. We saw a bunch of houses putting like, like PVC tubes or pipes and they're sliding down the candies from their porch down to the kids. That's really cool. And I think that's gonna be it. Maybe for this outro, let's include the pumpkins. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's give them a moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys are new here, hope you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs> I have no strength. Thank you, me. It's not working. Easy peasy. <laughs> Are these just wild chickens? Chickens, 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 chickens.